Hi guys, welcome back to our main homestead. Uh, so as you saw just a second ago, we have some chicks hatching in the incubator right now. So we have a batch of 22 eggs in the incubator and the first chick has hatched. There are several other eggs that have pips on them. So we expect over the next couple of days that we're gonna have a lot of new baby chicks around here. Um, meaning that we've already collected, started collecting more eggs from the chicken coop uh, that we're saving and going to be starting a new round of eggs in the incubator soon. So I wanted to take you guys along and show you the process uh, from collecting and storing the eggs, then putting them in the incubator, candling them, uh, watching them hatch, and uh, just how the incubator works and everything. So just wanted to take you guys along, show you all the ins and outs of hatching your chicken eggs in an incubator and I hope you guys really enjoy it. So as we've been collecting eggs, we are storing them in some cardboard egg cartons. We do number all of the eggs and that will uh, come into play later on when we candle them so that we know which ones are fertilized or not. Um, so right now we've got 16 eggs. We are shooting for 22. So whenever we have 22, we will um, move them to the incubator. Um, like I said, as the other chicks come out of the incubator. Um, so for storing these and waiting to be put in the incubator, we do um, keep them in a cool place, which is under Emery's little clothing wash stand. And we do keep them moist with a squirt bottle so we want to kind of keep them humid and cool while they wait to go into the incubator all right we're in here to put the chickens to bed for the night we've got three hens and a rooster all three of the hens are pretty typical for laying an egg a day each so I actually expected to see two eggs in here but there's only one so I will just take this one and go put it with the other eggs in our collection and then we'll see what we have in the morning. All right, Eddie just turned on the incubator. We are using a Nurture Right 360. And so we're gonna let that do its thing for a second. We're gonna fill it up with some water so that the humidity can be regulated by the incubator. incubator you have to reset to factory settings to make the egg turner start turning again on its own because it's on a 21 day timer and you can change the number of days that it'll turn for but it's set for um, chicken eggs which are a 21 day incubation so it'll turn and then automatically stop at day 18 we kind of watch it and keep track of it anyway but you have to push and hold two buttons to reset it. Then you can just push and hold these. And it'll automatically turn the eggs. So it does that automatically every four hours, I think, right? Mm-hmm. Ready? It's recording, so do what you gotta do. <laughs> so it's day eight, so it's time to candle the eggs, and all that is is shining a bright light up into it to check and see if it's fertilized. We'll try to see if we can get that on film um, to show you what a fertilized egg looks like, because a lot of times you'll see movement. But you'll definitely, what we're looking for is a dark spot, typically on the top, so the rounded part of the egg. I call the, the top the rounded part and the pointed part the bottom, just because of how they're oriented in the 
incubator. But anyway, so that's what we're looking for. And hopefully you can see it really well because it's kind of cool seeing like the vascular system forming and things like that. It, and especially if we see a little embryo moving, that'll be really cute. So um, we'll try to catch that all for you guys. So our last round we had 22 eggs. That's what our incubator holds. And they all looked fertilized. We had 16 <coughs> eggs hatch out, which is decent. Better, really good for us. That's the most we've ever had. Yeah. So we'll see what we get today. So this is egg number one. We just place it on there and then turn it. Can you see that? Mm -hmm. Zoom in on it. And then if you can see, there's a, a line here. This is all dark, so that should be embryo. And down here is still part of the yolk sac, I guess. So I would say yes on that one. Yep. out to you guys several of the eggs that had a nice little vascular system going on tried to show you guys some of the little baby embryos that were moving around in the eggs they were a little bit difficult to see on camera I did try to close all of our curtains so that you could see it a little bit better um, so hopefully that that worked or hopefully that worked and that you were able to see just some cool stuff we have obviously a hundred percent fertilization success rate with these eggs um, if they were not fertilized if there was nothing growing in them you basically would be able to kind of see through them the whole there would be no darkness to them um, it'd be pretty obvious which ones were fertilized and which ones were not fertilized yeah what two more weeks not quite mm -hmm. and then maybe we'll have some baby chicks again yep hopefully Yesterday was day 18, so we unplugged the egg turner tray and removed it from the incubator. And then something else that we had to do was increase the humidity. So we're trying to keep it, what would you say, Eddie, between 70 and 75? Yeah. 70 and 75. And within the next few days, we should start seeing some chickens hatch. Overnight last night, we had two chicks born. Well, one overnight and then one this morning after Eddie woke up. So I'm going to try to focus in on one that has started pipping and see if we can get a time lapse of, an, of a chicken hatching. We typically leave the chicks inside the incubator for several hours after they've hatched number one to let them dry out but number two their chirps and movement actually 
um, encourages some of the other eggs to hatch. So they get to just hang out in there with their future brothers and sisters.